Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I don't believe you're doing good, I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of USDJPY and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time. And you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, let's say a bit about the last analysis of USDJPY. When we did that analysis, the market was here, and we did say that we expect the market to buy. We expect the market to keep buying until it gets to this all-time high. Number one reason was because um, the fundamentals of JPY was not good, and number two reason. Is because at the moment the market had not given any clear sign of a bearish reversal so we also said that we're going to consider a sell if the market gives a sign for a bearish if the market makes a bearish reversal um, chart pattern at the course of the week but if not we will maintain um, a bullish position and you can see on Monday, the market was bullish. Tuesday, it sold a bit and bought again. Wednesday, it bought and sold a bit. Then Thursday, we had this huge bearish move. Of course, remember, there was a news on um, JPY, which supported JPY, and that caused all JPY, JPY pairs to sell on Thursday. So in Nigerian time, that was a Wednesday night into Thursday morning or let's say the early hours of Thursday morning that's when we had this huge sell then Friday we had the market end as a great dodge now let's start analysis on the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame we can see um, USDJPY has been buying for quite a while got to this all-time high or met the all-time high first time here then it sold down here and bought again and retested the all-time high then it sold again and got here it did not sell down here which we were expecting that to happen it stopped somewhere in between and started buying again so the month of february we just ended ended as a bullish candle with an upper week just like um january also ended as a bullish candle with the upper week then and this is the month of march of course it's it's not clear the candlestick just started we had only one trading day in the month of march now let's consider the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we can see after the market bought this much it sold down here i uh, got to this region and bought again then the last candlestick or last week the market ended as a hanging man pay attention and look at the charts critically the market ended as a hanging man now remember the hanging man is not a bearish neither is it a bullish reversal candlestick pattern now the daily time frame on the daily time frame the market bought this much and got here it made the first intention to sell and bought again then here it sold and closed below the 10 day simple moving average take note of that it closed below the 10 day simple moving average and the next candle the market bought this much then we had strong bearish rejection which caused it to sell down here and it ended as a greystone dodgy i i don't want to call that an inverted pin bar because the body is quite little now let's consider the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame we can see when the market bought here so the bit and it has been ranging around here then on thursday it sold this much and we had bullish rejection which caused it to buy on friday got to this region and we had bearish rejection so here we had a the market make an evening star and the bearish candle closed below the 10 day simple moving average and the last candle stick on the four hours time frame is a small bearish candle so that's what happened in the market last week what do we expect from the market this week pay attention this is going to be quite um, interesting on the four hours time frame the market has made signs to sell we can see clear signs that the market is about to sell in fact we have an evening star here and the 10 day simple moving average crossover the candlestick then the last candlestick is a small bearish candle 
on the daily time frame we have the market make a bearish engulfing bar here then we had a bullish rejection or a bullish move and the bears pushed it down the bears rejected the bullish move and closed as a gray stone dodge showing strong bearish rejection or strong bearish presence now the weekly time frame ended as a hanging man which is a bearish candle with a long lower week which shows that within that candle there was strong bearish pressure then towards the end of the candle the bulls came in and pushed it up do you understand that so for that reason in the next candle we will see activities of both the bulls and the bears so either that of the bulls will first play out or that of the bears will first play out either way we will see activities of both the bulls and the bears do you understand so since the daily time frame and four hours time frame confirms that the bears are currently in the market this is how i think the market will play out there's possibility that the market will sell in fact that seems more stronger that the market will sell but this is how this is what i would like to see We can see that there is a support here this region is a support region and um when the market sold down here it bought again so what i would like to see is this i want the market to sell and close below this region pay attention when it closes below this region it will now buy and retest this region and make a bearish reversal candlestick pattern when that occurs i'll be pretty sure that the market is going bearish and i'll consider a sell this is when i will advise that you take a sell but coming to the daily time frame look here if we see the market remember the weekly time frame ended as a hanging man we show that there is there was bullish pressure in the market there is also possibility like i said the we will see activities of both the bulls and the bears within the next candle so if at the when the market opens we see the market sell a bit and does not close below this region then we see bullish rejection and it's quite strong there's possibility that this all-time high will be tested this time around do you understand so i need us to be open to the possibilities of these two and see how the market will play out when the market comes to this all-time high from what i can see on the chart right now we can see the bears are start showing intention so there's possibility that if it gets to this all-time high it will sell again but for now like i said there is strong presence of the bears no doubt we can't deny that but we want to see the market confirm this so let it close below this region retest it and make a bearish reversal candlestick pattern then we will consider a sell so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you like what we say trading is a highly risky endeavor we don't venture into trading without proper knowledge if you know you don't have sufficient knowledge you don't have to take this trade you can watch this video for educational purposes and it's going to serve you better than risking your heart and money something you don't fully understand if you want to get our forex course which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market it covers beginners to advanced lessons it has 30 videos and three ebooks including my book trading without years i strongly recommend this course for anybody who is just starting out in the forex space or someone who is yet to find his way around the financial market so if you want to get this course check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get our forex course and if you want to subscribe for a signal service so give proper entry stop loss and take profit check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want a hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles you can find our social media handles in the description of this video tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you
So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.